once all legal challenges have been exhausted, that you will accept the results of this election, regardless of who wins, and you will say right now that political violence in any form is unacceptable. Well, I shouldn't have to say that, but of course I believe that. It's totally unacceptable. And if you would see my statements that I made on Twitter at the time, and also my statement that I made in the Rose Garden, you would say it's one of the strongest statements you've ever seen. In addition to the speech I made, in front of, I believe, the largest crowd I've ever spoken to, and I will tell you, nobody ever talks about that. They talk about a relatively small number of people that went to the Capitol and in many cases were ushered in by the police. And as Nancy Pelosi said, it was her responsibility, not mine. She said that loud and clear. But the answer is, uh, if the election is fair, free, and I want that more than anybody, and I'll tell you something. I wish he was a great president, because I wouldn't be here right now. I'd be at one of my many places enjoying myself. I wouldn't be under indictment, because I wouldn't have been his political appoint, you know, opponent, because he indicted me because I was his opponent. I wish he was a great president. I would rather have that. I wouldn't be here. I don't mind being here. But the only reason I'm here is he's so bad as a president that I'm going to make America great again. We're going to make America great again. We're a failing nation right now. We're a seriously failing nation. And we're a failing nation because of him. His policies are so bad. Uh, his military policies are uh, insane. They're insane. These are wars that will never end with him. He will drive us into World War III, and we're closer to World War III than anybody can imagine. We are very, very close to World War III, and he's driving us there. And Kim Jong-un and uh, President Xi of China, Kim Jong-un of North Korea, uh, all of these, Putin, they don't respect him. They don't fear him. They have nothing going with this gentleman, and he's going to drive us into World War III. You want a World War III, let him follow and win, and let Putin say, do what you want, NATO. Just do what you want. There's a thing called Article 5. An attack on one is an attack on all, a required response. The idea, the idea, I can't think of a single major leader in the world who wouldn't trade places with the job I've done and what they've done. Because we are a powerful nation. We have wonderful peace because of the people. Not me, it's because of the American people. They're capable of anything, and they step up when they're needed. And right now, we're needed. We're needed to protect the world because our own safety is at stake. And again, you want to have a war, just let Putin go ahead and take Kyiv, make sure they move on, see what happens in Poland, Hungary, and other places along that border. Then you have a war. President Trump, as I come back to you for a follow-up, the question was, will you accept the results of this election? regardless of who wins. Just to finish what he said, if I might, uh, Russia, they took a lot of land from Bush. They took a lot of land from Obama and Biden. They took no land, nothing from Trump, nothing. He knew not to do it. He's not going to play games with me. He knew that. I got along with him very well, but he knew not to play games. He took nothing from me. But now he's going to take the whole thing from this man right here. That's a war that should have never started. It would have never started, ever, with me. And he's going to take Ukraine. And, you know, you asked me a question before, would you do this? With he's got us in such a bad position right now with, with Ukraine and Russia, because Ukraine's not winning that war. He said, I will never settle until such time. They're running out of people. They're running out of soldiers. They've lost so many people. It's so sad. They've lost so many people, and they've lost those gorgeous cities with the golden domes that are a 1,000 years old, all because of him and stupid decisions. Russia would have never attacked if President I were president. Trump, the question was, will you accept the results of the election, regardless of who wins, yes or no, please? If it's a fair and legal and good election, absolutely. I would have much rather accepted these but the, the fraud and everything else was ridiculous. And if you want, we'll have a news conference on it in a week. Or we'll have another one of these on a, in a week. But I will absolutely, there's nothing I'd rather do. It would be much easier for me to do that than I'm running again. I wasn't really going to run until I saw the horrible job he did. He's destroying our country. I would be very happy to be someplace else, in a nice location someplace. And again, no indictments, 
No political opponent stuff, because it's the only way he thinks he can win. But unfortunately, it's driven up my numbers and driven them up to a very high level, because the people understand it. Well, let's see what your numbers are when this election is over. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. You're a whiner. When you lost the first time, you, you continued. You appealed and appealed to courts all across the country. Not one single court in America said any of your claims had any merit, state or local, none. But you continue to provoke this lie about somehow there's all this misrepresentation, all this stealing. There is no evidence of that at all. And I tell you what, I doubt whether you'll accept it because you're such a whiner. The idea if you lose again, you accepted anything, you can't stand the loss. Something snapped in you when you lost the last time. We'll be right back with more from the CNN presidential debate live from Georgia.